What's wrong? I'm so cold. My eyes blinked. You're sad because your eyes blinked? Yeah. Oh, okay. Guess what? What is today? It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Do you know what that means? Yeah. What does it mean? <laughs> it means Santa came last night. Santa came and brought you presents. And they're all wrapped under the tree. And you know where your presents are? Yeah. Where? On a tree. Yeah, they're under the an important. Yeah, they're under the tree and it says Grace they, and presents and porter presents. Yeah, Grace and Presents and Porter Presents. And they're at Graham's house. Santa went to Graham's house last night <laughs> and put presents under the tree for you and Porter. Is that yeah, so crazy? Yeah, and Grayson's bed. You want me to go in Grayson's bed? Yeah. Okay. This is Christmas with a three year old. They don't really care. Hi, how are you? My camera fell in your head. It did, it's okay. You see mistletoe? Yeah. You do? Yeah. <gasps> Look, he left us a note. He's on the counter. He is on the counter. Look, he left us this note. You want me to read it to you? Yeah. It says, Gr Grayson and Porter, Merry Christmas. I've had so much fun visiting your house for the past month. You mm. both have been very good boys, and I made sure Santa put you both on the nice list. <gasps> You're on the nice list. All of your gifts from Santa are at Graham's and Gramps' house, so hurry over there to unwrap your presents. I will miss seeing you both every day, but don't be sad. I will be back again next December 1st. Be good to each other. I love you. Love, mistletoe. That's pretty cool, huh? Thanks, mistletoe. Thanks. He's not my camera. Yeah, he said he put both you and Porter on the nice list and that your presents are at Graham's and Graham's house. Dad, he's on the counter. He is on the counter, huh? He sent you a note. Yeah, he did. He said this is his last day here. After today, he's going back to the North Pole to stay with Santa. But he'll be back next December. You're going to miss him? Yeah. Yeah, he was a good elf, huh? Should we have dinner? Breakfast? Do we have breakfast? Yeah, okay. We're going to have breakfast. Mm -hmm. On your jammies? <laughs> what does Santa say? Uh, what does Santa say? Ho, ho, ho. You want to get out? You want to go see your presents? <laughs> okay. In the lights. <laughs> oh, do you see the lights? He's loving the lights on your tree. Do you see the lights? What do you think, Gray? Do you think any of those presents say Grayson on them? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's confident. Presents, you think? Hi, boy. Hi, boy. He likes.
likes your tree. Look, it's Christmas tree. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Lights. <laughs> He's like, the lights, I just want the lights. Porter's like, forget the presents. <laughs> tree. What do you think, Gray? Wow. <laughs> Uh, I know. <laughs> Matching. <laughs> Gray kept looking at his jammies and being like, ho ho, ho ho. Good on Gray, look. Gray, look. Gray, Gray. Yeah, he said he ended up coming in later. Stuff in yeah. there. What? What's inside your stocking? Blue's thing. Blue's thing. Blue's thing. Blue's thing. Blue's Oh. Is the piano new? Like it wasn't wrapped. Is it yeah, I yeah. Santa left some Santa. toys out for a them to play with. Yeah. A square. <laughs> yeah, it's a pop it. You can pop the butt the bubbles on it. It's like okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you think? What else is in there? Cat, it looks like. It looks heavy. <laughs> what are you gonna look at this stocking? Do you, like, you wanna go? Can, come here. Can you get it? You need help? Do you need Allison to help you? It's like the, the <laughs> words. <laughs> the words on the TV. <laughs> when do they get to the age where they just want to open everything? <laughs> Apparently, three is not it. Yay! What is it, What did you get, Gray Gray? Yeah, what did you get, What did you get, Grayson? Oh. Yeah, can you open? <laughs> this is your gift from Did you get a chopping board? Daddy's opening a present. I'm not going to buy her a butterscotch opening. Uh-huh, he got, like, started with it and then stopped. Hey, D, poor. He's holding that tiny. He's trying to figure it out. Oh, he loves it. That is so funny. <laughs> Yay! Look at one hand. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, man. Get ready. Get ready. Look at it. Oh, heck! <laughs>
Go Gray, catch him! Catch him. He's like holding it the wrong way. The dogs are like, what? Porter's like, where'd they go? What a whirlwind of two days it has been. So in the beginning of this vlog you saw, we had Christmas morning here in Columbus. It was actually on Christmas Eve that we did that, but the boys didn't know and they didn't care. So I woke them up. I was so excited for them to get ready um, to go see their presents and to celebrate Christmas. And they were like, meh about it. Grayson wasn't feeling that well. He had kind of a fever. I gave him some medicine. He got better as the day went on, but he was like not about it in the morning. And Porter was just like, you know, he's a one year old. Like he doesn't know what's going on. So um, it was kind of like not as excited as I was hoping that they would be. So I guess I'll have to wait another year and see if maybe at four years old, that's when they get excited for Christmas. I don't know. But anyway, we went to my mom and dad's house and we opened presents it went awesome the boys got so many presents and then they got presents from um two of my siblings because they're their godparents they got to open those my uh parents got them presents so they got so many gifts i mean they were opening for like over an hour they were just loving all the presents and now we have so many presents in our so many toys now in our playroom I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with all these toys but anyway we had such a great time just basically spent the whole morning at my parents house and then once nap time came around that's when we left and we headed to Anthony's parents house and so we spent like the second half of the day of Christmas Eve at Anthony's parents' house. And then we also did Christmas morning at their house. Um, we opened most of our gifts Christmas Eve night. So the boys got some gifts from Anthony's brother and then Anthony's parents. And we were able to give Anthony's parents their gift. And then um, we... Uh, went to sleep and then woke up on Christmas Day and um, the boys opened their stockings and got like a, cute, a few like books and things like that. So it was super fun. It was good we were able to do both um, parents. It's always so hard trying to figure out um, two separate families during the holidays. It used to be a lot easier because Anthony, uh, Anthony's parents and my parents were both in the same city. But now that my parents have moved to Columbus, it's a lot harder um, because they're basically like two and a half hours away from each other. So it's really difficult. I'm always glad when the holidays are over because we don't have to like stress about that anymore. But we got it done. So we basically spent all of Christmas morning at Anthony's parents' house. And then once nap time went around, that's when we left the boys with them and headed back to Columbus. I really wanted to leave at nap time because I was so worried about how Porter was going to take us leaving him. He is so, so attached to me and very much like the stranger danger thing um he it took a while but he did eventually warm up to anthony's parents i'm glad we got there like the day prior so that like we could spend like that time with him so that he could like slowly warm up to anthony's parents instead of us just being like here you go <laughs> so it was good but i still wanted to leave at nap time because i knew once he saw us leave he was just going to be distraught so we left while he was napping and then Grayson was awake because he doesn't really nap when we go to other people's houses. And we were like, bye, Gray, we're going to leave. We won't be back for a couple days. And he was just basically like, bye. Like, he did not care. He was just like, I want to go ride my bike. They have like a little tricycle he rides around in their basement. He did not care we were leaving. Like, I wish Porter was like that. 
um, cause it would have made leaving him a lot easier. But anyway, so we left the boys with Anthony's parents. It was so nice that they could watch them while we go to Jamaica. And we drove all the way back to Columbus. It was such a bummer having to drive there and back there and back, but it was okay. So we got back to my parents' house at around five o'clock in the evening on Christmas day. And so we got to spend the rest of the day with um, my family. My grandparents had come to visit, which was really nice. I hadn't seen them in a while. And um, we got to um, give gifts. We gave my parents their gifts. They gave each of us um, their gifts. They got like, all the boys got leaf blowers, which we desperately need, which is so nice. And um, really nice whiskey. And all us girls, we got uh, matching jackets. Every year we get like matching jackets and usually we go to Sam's Club and get them, but we actually found them at Costco this year. It was a Ralph Lauren. It's very nice. I wanna wear it all the time. <laughs> My mom also gave each of us, um, each of us girls bracelets that she got when they went to um, the Caribbean. They went on a cruise about a month ago. And so that was really nice too. It was nice. We also did our sibling gift exchange. Um, I had my brother, Philip, and Anthony had my, his wife, my sister-in-law, Ellie. And so we kind of just got them like a combo gift and they just moved into a new house. So I got them a ornament that said like first Christmas in our new home and it had a picture of their house on it. I got it off Etsy. And then we also got them a doormat that says like the Burks on it. Um, so they really liked that. And then um, for more of the practical side that Philip would appreciate, we got them a snow shovel because <laughs> they're now that they have a house, they're definitely gonna want that this winter. Um, and then Allison's husband, Garrett, had Anthony, and he got Anthony, um, it's like this thing that's supposed to make your beer, like, fizzy or, like, give it more head or something like that. I don't know. I don't like beer, so I didn't really understand it, but it was cool. And then Kelly had me, so she gave me, uh, new sweatpants, which I desperately needed, and then also, um, a brownie pan and a cookie sheet, because my, all my cookie sheets are, like, so gross. I've been, just been using them for years, and stuff gets caked on it. Same with the brownie pan. So I was super thankful for the gifts that she got me. So that was really fun. And um, we give my grandparents gifts, um, a picture of all of us, and then a doormat, because they're moving into a new home. So it was super fun. We all just kind of like gathered around and just um, watched watched each other open gifts and talked and played games. Um, and yeah, it was really fun. And then Anthony and I actually left a little early because <laughs> as of Christmas night, we have not packed a single thing for Jamaica. And we leave for the airport at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> tomorrow. So we are home. We are starting to pack. We had to unload all the Christmas gifts that we got from Anthony's parents and my parents. And now we are headed upstairs to pack our suitcase. We get one checked um, to share and then we get a carry-on and a personal item. So we're gonna have tons of space. It's just we need to like find everything we need and put it all in there. The best part about this is since we're going to a warm place, but we're in a cold area right now, all the clothes that we need to pack are things that we are not wearing right now because it's freezing outside. So of course we're not gonna wear bathing suits and short sleeves and dresses and things like that. So it'll be very easy to find clothes to pack. It's just, you know, packing takes a while. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do tonight, but I just wanted to recap this vlog. I um, vlogged a lot at my parents' house with the boys opening gifts, but then I kind of like stopped. <laughs> well, I never really vlog when we go to Anthony's parents' house just because it's like a different vibe there. Um, and then I just did like those two clips of my parents' house um, of us just like hanging around and chatting. Um, and then that was it because we were on like we're honestly just uh, Jamaica is on the mind now. Like we are done with Christmas. I'm so glad it's over and now we can just go on our vacation. So definitely stay tuned. The next vlog is going to be Jamaica. I think I'm just going to take a bunch of clips and put them into one video. So definitely stay tuned. I'm so, so excited for that. Um, and yeah, thank you for uh, watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a awesome Christmas. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite gift that you received this Christmas. I'm trying to think what my favorite gift that I received would be. Hmm. 
You know, I, I'm thinking about it here. Like, I don't really think I had a favorite gift this year for Christmas. I don't know, is that bad? Um, Anthony and I went cheaper this year on gifts just because we're looking for a house so we're trying to save money. And so his gifts were great and thoughtful, but not one like really stands out to me. <laughs> um, my grandparents got us a bunch of gift cards so that we could go on date night. So that's really important to me. Um, and then, yeah, it was just a bunch of little things. You know, as you get older, like, you just get less and less presents. So, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what, what to say after that. But, yeah, not one present really stands out, but that's okay. Like, I just enjoyed the day. I guess my parents taking us to Jamaica is a Christmas gift. So, I guess I could say that, except we haven't gone to it yet. But I guess that could be my favorite Christmas gift. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of weird. But, anyway, let me know down below what your favorite gift was this year. Uh, thank you for listening to me ramble. This is like 11 minutes of me talking. Sorry about that. <laughs> and I uh, will catch you in Jamaica. Bye guys.